Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are looking at the a couple eyeliners from Victoria Beckham. So I figured might as well use some other products from Victoria Beckham as well. So we've got a little get ready with me featuring several Victoria Beckham uh, products. But the new products that I have are the liner in the sea gray and the navy noir. So these are the two most recent liners that came out. Now in the get ready with me, I'm also using her new uh, cheek sticks, her blush sticks, as well as a, a lid luster and lip products and so forth. So uh, let's go ahead, do the get ready with me, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna look at some comparisons for the liners and talk about my thoughts on all these products. All right, so I thought the best way to really emphasize how these eyeliners look and work is to do a little get ready with me. So, so far on my skin, I have applied the Serap Perfectionist Primer and the Vizier Eye Primer, and then the Sisley Sislea Latent Foundation in Zero R Vanilla. So we're gonna move into Victoria Beckham um, blush sticks. And actually, I am going to mix the two of these on my hand as a palette. So this one here is Major, and this one is Knickers. Just gonna kind of put those together. And I'm gonna use a brush to kind of blend those together a little bit better. And so I am taking the Chicago T11 and I'm just kind of mixing those on my hand. All right, so I still have plenty of product left. I think it, the blushes, I, I personally really like mixing these two. It, it gives me like that perfect, um, like like a peachy pink, but it's a little bit cooler in tone than Knickers is on its own. And yeah, I just really like the color. So let's move into uh, the eyeliners. All right, so I picked up the Navy Noir Eyeliner. And if you're not familiar with the Victoria Beckham Eyeliners, these are satin casual liners. And on one end, you have a little sponge tip for, you know, kind of smoking it out. And then the other end, you have the pencil. So this is the Navy Noir. These are incredibly creamy. They are intended to be able to be used on the waterline and so forth. Personally, for me, they don't last on my waterline, um, but I love them on the upper lash line and I love the way they look smudged out. They are incredibly creamy. I really love the formula on these. And I also picked up the new Sea Gray shade, which you can see is more of a metallic shimmery silver color. So. I think what we're going to do is we're gonna start off with the navy along the lash line and we're gonna smudge that out and then we'll draw a silver line closer to the lash line. And then I was thinking of for shadow, you know, maybe just topping a little bit with the uh, Victoria Beckham, uh, what are these called? <laughs> um, lid lusters in the blonde shade, which is just like a white. So, We'll see, but let's start with the blue. I'm gonna apply this and just smudge it along the lash line. I'm gonna use the Refer 12 brush. And you can see that this is really like dense. It moves product really well. So that's one of my favorite brushes for applications like this. All right, so I think my left side has a little bit more, like it's spread out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the right and spread that a little bit better. All 
right, so here's the navy liner smudged out. I really like the color. Now, you know, you don't have to smudge it out like this. If you want, you could smudge it all over the eye, use this as eyeshadow as well. But I was thinking, let's go ahead and apply a thinner line right along the lashes with this. Look at that metallic. And then I'm gonna put the sea gray on the lower lash line as well. So I put it right up against the waterline, but not actually on it. And let's use the smudging tool. We'll smudge that a little bit. I really like it. So now all I need is some shadow on the lid. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shade Blonde, which, you know, it looks kind of like whitish. So these come with a little lid underneath. Make sure you keep that because it really does help keep the product in, um, you know, fresh. So it looks kind of white, but it's actually a white gold. Oh, sorry. It's my mirror. <laughs> but here's what it looks like. Look at that. So we're gonna tap some of this on above the smudged out blue. And it's okay to overlap it a little bit. So I'm gonna take that rougher brush just getting a little bit here on the brush and sticking it in the inner corner. I'm just gonna dab it on here a little bit more. All right, so there it is with the lid luster in blonde and I'm just gonna go over the lash line with the sea gray one more time right on the upper lash line all right so there are the lashes or the <laughs> there there are the liners and let's go ahead i'm gonna do mascara in a second but let's move on the lips first all right so i'm gonna start off with the lip definer in zero two So I left the spot kind of in the middle here without any liner or anything. I've got a little bit smudged in on the rest of the lip, but I'm going to go in with the Posh Lipstick in Sway. And uh, let me just swatch that. This is one of my, well, it's my favorite that I have so far. I did recently order some more, but you can see it's a really beautiful mid-tone pink. It's cooler in tone though, because it has some mauve tones to it. And there's a little hint of, it's not really sparkle, it's more shine, but yeah, there is a little, I don't know, like it glistens. All right, so I'm gonna move into mascara. I just curl my lashes with the Refer Lash Curler. I have used the Victoria Beckham Mascara. I don't love it. I loved, I, I liked it when I first opened it. I like the brush but it doesn't really perform that well and it gets kind of clumpy and um, you know, I just, it's personally not a favorite, but I've been trying out this Cure Weiss mascara. This is their new mascara. It's a clean beauty mascara like the Victoria Beckham line is. So I figured this would be suitable for using today. And here is the look from a distance. All right, so I hope that was helpful. We're gonna start off with some comparisons for the liners. This is one of the new Chanel liners, the Stilo Yo Waterproof, 
and 38 Blue Metal. And I'm just gonna put that, that's right here. You can see it's gonna be a lot lighter and brighter. Formula-wise, this is completely different. And this is a little bit more of a traditional eyeliner compared to the Kajal for Victoria Beckham. And then we have shade 30, also from Chanel, which is marine. And that's this one here. So you can see that this one's gonna be a little bit of a dustier blue. There's a little gray mixed into that. And there is some shimmer. It's a little bit hard to see, but there is very, very faint shimmer. Another blue one, I know already, this is not gonna match, but formula-wise, this is more comparable. This is one of the new Matte Sisley liners in peacock so this is number five and you can see this one actually is more of a teal blue so there's some green in here but formula wise this is going to be creamier this is an eye coal so it's much more similar to the kajal formula but it's not quite as creamy however it also performs better on the waterline for me than the victoria beckham does and my last blue liner to try is the Pat McGrath Labs in Blitz Blue. Now, I do want to say that I have ordered the Byredo blue one as well. So I will have that in the Byredo video. I'll have a comparison with this eyeliner as well. So this is Pat McGrath. You can see it's going to be lighter and it's sparkly. Now, even though these are all pretty different, you know, there are, are going to be similarities on the eyes. I'd say the Pat McGrath would probably be closest on the eye, although it does have the shimmer. Um, the Peacock, when you put that on, because typically, at least for me, I smudge this out, you're going to see like more of that like greenish hue to that one. And these two are going to be much lighter. But, you know, depending how you use your eyeliner, it's a small area <laughs> that you're using it. So it is going to be a little bit harder to distinguish differences in the shades. Now, as for the sea gray, the sea gray is gonna be like a silvery metallic shade. This is the Chanel Cielo Ya in 42 Gris Graphite or Graphite. And you can see that it's gonna be warmer in tone. It's more gunmetal compared to more of a, a silver. Now, even though this is silver, it's a neutral silver. Sometimes silvers can be overly cool. This one is not. So the Victoria Beckham Sea Gray is a neutral silver. The Gris Graphite is a little bit more of a gunmetal. It doesn't have kind of like that bluish hue to it that is in the Sea Gray. Then I have one more. I haven't actually opened or used this yet. This is the Silver Argent Pencil from Jones Road. So let's see how this one compares. Formula-wise, this is more like a traditional eyeliner. So it's going to be... Um, if you've tried a Victoria Beckham lip liner, it's more like that. It's a drier type of formula. You can see this is more of a true silver and it's gonna be bright and sparkly. Now that's all I have for those, but I do wanna swatch my other uh, eyeliners from Victoria Beckham. This is the gray one in Ash, which is going to be a deep charcoal gray. So I put that right here so you can see them side by side. So sea gray versus ash they're both incredibly creamy you can see the difference though in color like ash is it's definitely gray it's not black there is a little bit you know how again just like silvers grays can be a really cool this one has warmth to it so there is a little bit of brown in there but it's going to be a charcoal and then just for the sake of finishing up with the rest of the liners i have this is the bronze shade and this is actually a really popular one that sells out quite a bit so here's that it's the closest to gold um, that is currently there in the victoria beckham line you can see that although it is more metallic than these matte ones like ash it's not going to be as sparkly as the sea gray it's kind of in between so it's almost more like a satin instead of a metallic but there it's like a set there's a touch of metallic in it. It's just not quite so sparkly. And, and the last one here is Cocoa, which is gonna be the dark brown. I would have to say that I use Cocoa and Ash all the time. I can't wait to start using these other two that I picked up. I think Sea Gray is one that I will be using quite a bit. So I think that's great. Now, formula-wise for these, I absolutely love the Victoria Beckham eye cajols. 
I think they're so comfortable and easy to use. They're great for a smudged out look. Some people have success using these on the waterline. I am not one of them. I will put it up against the waterline and smudge it out like I did on the lower lash line today. But, um, and then it'll stay put there, but anywhere that could potentially get a little moisture, it, it does not work for me. So, uh, you know, I think they're great though. So these are 1.2 grams or 0 0.042 ounces and they are made in Germany. Now last year for Black Friday, just a note, but there were all these like sets on Victoria Beckham, like it was stuff like um, buy an eyeshadow palette and get an eyeliner, you know, like it was a duo set for a discounted price and things like that. And I think she also had a discount off the website. So those sets went up, maybe they were part of Black Friday, maybe they weren't, but I know that you could get them on sale during Black Friday. So I had actually picked up a few things at that point. So just something to look out for. Look out for the sets. Look out for a discount for Black Friday. And I did already mention the Mink Lid Luster. Or not Mink. Sorry. This one's blonde. Mink is my favorite. It's like, well, might as well just swatch that one here. But that one is going to be like brown and gray. So it depends whether you pile it up or you smear it out because it's gonna look different. So here's mink. So look at that. You can see more of that like grayish silver, but then when you smudge it out, you can see more brown. I absolutely love that color. Now these lid lusters, I really like the Victoria Beckham lid lusters. I have noticed that some are a little bit drier than others. Uh, so just something to note. But in particular, I, I mean, mink and blonde are the two that I use the most. And I really like them. They do not last all day without creasing on me. But, you know, when I use it with a primer, I get good wear. So, you know, I think they're worth picking up. I think mink in particular is very special. I actually, both of these are, I really like these two. <laughs> now, as for the posh lipsticks, I like these and I think they're a really nice product. They're not my favorite lipstick. I do find if my lips are in not, not so great of a condition, they're pretty dry when I start, that it can emphasize that dryness. I'm not saying it makes my lips drier, but it does sort of like attach or fade, um, you know, unevenly where I have dry areas. So just something to note there, make sure your lips are well moisturized, but I do like the formula and for a clean beauty lipstick, um, this could potentially, no, it's definitely up there in my top like two or three clean beauty lipsticks. <laughs> so I really like it. I like how it doesn't really have a scent. So you're not gonna smell anything putting this on, which is nice. And I like the sheen that you get and it's comfortable on the lips. The so. texture of this lipstick is a thin, creamy formula. So it's almost like a balmy type of lipstick, but I feel like a balmy lipstick kind of has a little bit more of like an aquaphor type, you know, ointment type feeling on the lips. Uh, you know, it kind of, that's why I think of with a balm. And this doesn't have that, but it's similar in like creaminess and so forth to a balm type lipstick in my opinion. So I think they're very comfortable. Sway is this shade swatched right here. This is what's on my lips. I really love the um, that particular color. And as for the lip liners, I like the lip liners. They are more of a traditional lip liner formula. So they're a little bit drier in texture, makes it really easy to go on. They perform well. I don't see anything spectacular about the liners, but I like them enough to buy more than one of them. So I think they are a nice liner and I do like pairing them with these lipsticks. I think they do help, uh, you know, keep things in, in the lines and so forth uh, with these lipsticks. So I think that was everything. Oh, the blushes. So the Victoria Beckham blushes. I did just recently do a video on these. So I will leave that linked down below in the description box but I think these are a nice blush. So I do get some fading by the end of the day, but it doesn't completely fade away. And I think they go on very nicely. 
they blend out beautifully and I think they're a really nice product. So I have a ton of cream blushes. I probably don't need to pick up any more, but you know, never say never. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below in the comment box and I will see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.